Castletown Weir in County Leash on the River Nore. This weir was built in the early 1800s to run a mill just downstream of the bridge here. The problem with this weir from a fisheries point of view was that fish and fish movement upstream and downstream was made difficult by the presence of the weir. A fish pass was constructed at the weir in the early 1950s. However, this fish pass was not functioning properly and fish were held up here often for weeks. This had an effect on spawning fish that were trying to get up to the spawning grounds up further at the bottom of the Sleeve Blue Mountains. It also had an effect on eels that were moving upstream and downstream and the smolts, which are the young salmon coming downstream, also had difficulty. The problem was intensified then by the amount of spawning that was done just at the base of the weir. When fish couldn't get over the weir, they would spawn on the gravels downstream of the weir and then more fish would spawn on top of that spawning grounds. So we were losing production of salmon spawn and salmon smolts. It was decided by Inland Fisheries Ireland to construct an improved version of a fish pass. This fish pass here, which is called a rock ramp type fish pass, is designed to pass all species of fish at all times of the year, therefore eliminating the obstruction to the free movement of fish. What we have here now is a schematic drawing of the situation before we start. We have the, the road bridge along here, this is the mill opposite us, and that's the community hall. This here is the weir itself, there's a little fish pass shown up here, and our new structure is going to start here and come around like that there. This is just an outline of the heights and the widths and a few measurements on it. This again is the road bridge, that's our mill, this is the weir along here. This gives us the height of the weir. This is the existing fish pass here. Um, there's overhead cables along here that we have to take account of for health and safety reasons. And there's existing sluice gates here. The our fish pass is going to start here and come down in this fashion here. This is the weir itself. The fish pass is now gone. And our rock ram starts up here in the top corner and comes down this way here. We will note that the, the cross walls here, there's a gap in each of these to allow water through. And as you can imagine, the velocity through these gaps is going to be quite high. So to compensate for that, we put these boulders immediately upstream of the gaps. These are called perturbation boulders. And these have the function to slow down the water as they flow through the, the gaps. The other thing you'll notice is the gaps alternate as we go up the, the fish pass. So this has the effect of putting the river flowing over and back like this so that fish can rest in the pools and then when they need to move, they go out the gaps. Obviously in high flow, all these walls will be covered and fish will either go over them or through the gaps. The other thing we need to notice here is the actual weir itself will be lowered up here by 150 mil to have a concentrated flow of water down through the fish pass. This pink structure here is actually going to be sandbags. What happens here is we will have to sandbag all this river here to stop the water coming back this way. We will also have a row of sandbags along the top of the weir, which should have the effect of drying out all of this area here. Obviously we will get some ingress of water that will have to be pumped out, but the principle is that we will be working here in dry conditions and IFI will electrofish this area to remove all fish on the first day. This top one here shows us in plan what the structure should look like. This is the weir itself here. The weir is actually breached up here at the top end. Concentrate the flow down this way. The gaps on the walls of the fish pass are 500 mil across. This one then is a cross section. If we put the wall across there, these two arrows here, and look up the, the, the fish pass, this is what we'll see. A row of rocks here, a wall down the middle, and then the wall continues over onto the weir. This is the existing weir on this side. If we look at it and we cut the, 
the wheel down this direction and looking sideways, this is what we see. We see a slope all the way up to the top of the weir here and each of these walls then dropping 150 mil as we go down. These are the perturbation boulders as we spoke about just upstream of the gaps and as we come down then we will have a pond at the bottom for fish to rest in. Similar to, to the first one we have the road bridge here this is the weir here with the new fish pass installed here. So the critical part of construction of the rock ramp was the actual choosing and sourcing of the rock from the quarry itself. And this entailed us going to the quarry, choosing and marking and drawing correct uh, boulders that we needed. The boulders then were, were placed in five meter uh, spacings as we came down the rock ramp. And in our lines then we put the openings and the perturbation boulders to the back. The, the, the rock ramp fish pass then, it was, it was erected and placed by the boulders in straight lines from one bank over to the weir, as we can see. The, the placing of the rock itself brought its own challenges with the size of the rock and the tonnage that was in the rock, as some of the rocks themselves were in excess of three and a half ton, from there right down to boulders of 25 kgs. There was many challenges uh, rose uh, while we were constructing the fish pass and some of the major ones was the sandbagging and the actual plugging and stopping the water from entering the, the construction site itself. Um, this, this was uh, accomplished by more sandbagging and three pumps being on site. Two of those pumps was pumping clear water back into the, the river itself while one was treating silted water and sediment water back up through the, through the forestry and gently coming back to us again, filtered. Uh, this rock ramp type structure is completely rock and it's uh, a live structure which means that it is mimicking a mountain stream. It comprises of large rock armor which are keyed together and creates pools with a drop of approximately 150 millimeters between each pool. This weir was designed by engineers from the department our consulting engineer was Mark Murphy Consultancy from Cork and the construction was completed by Killeen Construction of Port Leash. This design as well as improving fish passes, the, the pass itself becomes a habitat for fish and macroinvertebrate so that when fish are moving upstream and downstream they will rest in the pools and indeed reside in the pools for a number of months. This rock ramp structure is almost complete now, the only remaining tasks is to remove the sandbags and to allow the water flow through the pass from the top of the weir right down through it. Uh, when, that, when that is complete, the water coming over the weir will obviously decrease um, and the majority of the water will come through the fish pass.